Okay. Geometry, chapter 10, section 6. Secants, tangents, and angles. So far we've had chords, which were drawn on the inside of a circle. We have had tangents that were drawn on the outside of the circle with one intersection point. And so today we're going to study secants. And so a secant A secant is a line or segment that is drawn through a circle and intersects it twice. So let's say, well, I don't want to do that. I want to do, let's just make some intersecting lines. Okay, so I could label these, um, oh, Let's go A, B, C, D. Okay, so there are a couple of secants. Now, obviously we're going to be able to find some angle measures because that's what we've been doing to this point is finding angle measures and arc measures. So here is the secant theorem and it's theorem 10 dash 12 and I'm just going to state it um, let's say I'm going to call these this angle 1 and this angle 2 okay so angle 1 is equal to 1 half of the intercepting arcs added together. So let's look at angle one. Obviously these are vertical angles so this is also the same as angle one this is the same as angle two. So let's look at its intercepted arcs. Um, I want to go down just a little bit more. Okay angle one intercepts this arc and because angle one is vertical on the other side it also intercepts this arc. So what we're going to do is we're going to add those two together. So that's going to be one half of arc AC plus DB. Okay, so angle one is one half of the two arcs intersected together. So that means angle 2, we need to find the arcs that angle 2 intersects and that's going to be this arc and, oh I don't want that to be straight, I want it to be curved. And then also this arc. And that kind of straightened up but that's a little smaller so that'll work. So angle 2 is going to be one half of arc AB added to arc CD. Okay, one half of the intercepted arc. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, let's take a look at theorem 10-13. 10-13 has to do with you'll see two different things here. We have a secant AB, and then we also have a tangent, which is just A. Um, I might add another one on here, call this D, because I like a tangent to be labeled. Uh, correctly, like a line. So that's tangent AD. Um, and so they intersect and they form these two angles. So angle 1 okay, is equal to 1 half of its intercepted arc, which in this case is going to be AB. And so that means angle 2 
is going to be equal to one half of its intercepted arc. And in this case, it's a major arc. So we're going to call that arc A, C, B. Again, order is important. Okay, so let's get some color code on this. Um, angle one is going to be half of that measure. And then angle two is going to be half of that measure. Okay, and that's when we have that's when we have a secant and a tangent. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Seconds. We've got secant tangent. Well, sorry about that, guys. I just realized that I was still on. So there's a lot of dead space in there. Well, I just put uh, put together three new examples. I guess you were watching that. And um, the first one has two secants. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here and label these real quick and to save some time. Okay, so let's take it the first example. Take a look at the first example. We're going to use angle A. And angle A is going to be found by taking its larger intersected arc okay, its larger intersected arc and its smaller intersected arc 
and taking half of it. So angle A will be equal to one half of the larger arc minus the smaller arc. And that's when you have two secants. When you have a secant and a tangent, you can think the same thing. Okay, We're going to take half of the larger arc minus the smaller arc. So that's going to end up being 1 half of DC minus BC. And then with the two tangents, we are also going to have the difference of the larger one minus the smaller one. So it's going to be the larger arc minus the smaller arc. So that is one half of major arc B D C minus oops minus minor arc B C. Okay, so all, all three of those are very similar. Larger arc minus the smaller arc, and then we're going to divide that by two or take one half of it. All right, guys, that's it. About 12 minutes, although there was a lot of downtime there in the middle, so technically the video wasn't that long. But uh, that is Chapter 10, Section 6, Secants, Tangents, and Angles.